Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will go over the topic of the median from geometry. Here's the definition. Uh, each triangle has three median lines. Each of these lines can be constructed as follows. All you do is to take one of the median lines and uh, that median line will be associated through a vertex. It will, it will go through a vertex to the opposite side the midpoint of the opposite side and what you need to find the C median associated with that median line is to reflect that median line uh, across the angle bisector of that vertex and that would be the C median associated with that median so what I will do is let me go ahead and create um, and construct a triangle so like that the angle bisector will be probably like this. So I claim that these two angles are equivalent. So we have A, B, C here. And the median is probably somewhere up here. Um, so the claim is that I can construct. So let, let me first go ahead and construct the median line. So that's the median. Okay. All we need to construct the um the C median associated with that median line is to reflect this across this angle bisector. So this is the uh, in center. So we have um, this angle over here. So that angle is uh, the angle between the angle bisector and the median line. So all we do is we, we measure a similar, uh, well, an equivalent line, uh, an equivalent angle, and draw the corresponding C median line. So um, let's assume this tangency point here is S. So therefore, AS uh, is the C median line um, associated with uh, median um, AM. And here, as I said, we have these two angles here. They are equivalent, so here, so notice, note, that angle IAM, IAM is simply equal to angle SAI, or alternatively, you can also claim that angle um, BAS is equal to angle uh, uh, CAM. Hmm? And this is obvious because AI bisects, AI is the angle bisector, it bisects angle A. So as a result, so you can easily uh, construct this uh, uh, C median line AS. In a similar way, you can construct C median lines for the other vertices as well. So let me go ahead and uh, construct the, um, um, so probably that's the midpoint N here. And then I will construct another midpoint. So probably here I'll call it um, L. So as a result, so if this is the median associated with line B, so the C median associated with that will be uh, reflected across the angle bisector like that. Um, in fact, let me go ahead and draw the angle, uh, the C medians in different colors. So that's the new C median here. That was the C median associated with vertex A and median AM. And finally, the median of the last one, which is pretty close to the angle bisector, will be, uh, so that's the median. But as a result, the C median line will go slightly above it. And what is so surprising, uh, so that's, this, oops, that's the C median line here. What's so surprising is that, uh, so let me draw the C median like that, the three C medians will meet, will concur at what we call the C median point here. Um, uh, so that, 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 that point is a special point on the triangle. So these three chevions, those three C median lines are um, intersecting at this uh, unique point. Uh, which is a very special point of the triangle. And somehow you can see a very uh, a correspondence between that C median point and the, um, and the centroid, which is this point here, the centroid G here, 
is associated somehow there's a relationship between the centroid and the median point and it's given in the second property the, the, those two points are isogonal conjugate points and this is no surprise because that's the way we define uh, isogonals right isogonal lines are reflections across the angle bisectors so uh, it turns out that the median is a special isogonal line it is the isogonal line of a given median so wonderful now what i will would like to do is to have a look at an alternative construction and this is due to Yu Fei Zhao on his uh, website you can easily find this problem as a problem i believe he he uh, cites it as lemma three of one of the three lemmas that he used in euclidean geometry and here is the alternative construction so i worded it as a problem and here is the problem. So given a triangle ABC and its circumcircle omega, we can show that, well, the tangents to omega at point B and C, so here are point B and our point C here. So if we go ahead and draw these, um, these tangents, obviously here BD is a tangency point. So if you extend BD, you will see it will look like a tangent and similarly, BC is a tangent to the circle, to the circumcircle at point C. And the claim is that those two tangents will meet at a point D. And line AD is, in fact, the C median line associated with vertex A. So, to prove this alternative construction, what I will do is uh, I will go ahead and, like you can see in the picture, we did i did already construct my triangle i have the tangency lines and they meet at d and i constructed ad what i would like to show is that uh, i will reflect ad across the angle bisector let the angle bisector be somewhere and so the um so probably the the in center will be somewhere here so therefore the ang so i have this angle bisector and what I did was to reflect AD with an equal angle across the angle bisector. So as a result, this red angle and the green angle are equivalent. Huh? Let me write that down. So let uh, angle IAD be equal to angle IAM prime, where... Huh? M prime is on line segment BC. What I, in order to prove this uh, construction or this problem, all I need to do is to show that um, M prime is actually the midpoint of line segment BC. So M prime is in fact the midpoint, or as you, if you will, alternatively you can say that uh, A M prime is the median of uh -huh, uh, of triangle A B C, one of the medians, obviously. Okay, so let's. Uh, I already uh, listed uh, one of the givens. So in fact, I can reword it in a different way. So the, so let me let me list the givens in the problem. We have at least four givens in the problem. So first of all, huh, so the first one, let me call it A, we know that angle B A M prime is simply equal to angle uh, C A D B A M prime. So this angle over here is simply equal to this angle over here. And and that's due to the construction because I already know that um, these two angles are equal, it's given. If those are equal, then the remaining portions, because AI is the angle bisector, must be equal as well. So BAM prime is equal to CAD by angle bisector. Huh? So another given in the problem is that, so let me call it B, uh, I know that angle ABD plus angle ACB is simply equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, I claim that this angle over here, ABD, which is not 90 degrees, not necessarily, because I don't know if AB goes through the center of that circle, right? So just to clarify, so let me uh, put that, 
that's the center of our circle. I know that OBD is 90 degrees, but this one is not necessarily 90 degrees. In a similar way, ACB, huh, it's this angle over here, and I claim that these two angles are supplementary angles, so they add up to 180 degrees. Uh, so, so this follows from the fact that um, angle ABD uh, subtends or uh, subtends this arc AB, this large arc AB here, or let me call it ACB. Huh? So it subtends the arc ACB. So this one subtends arc ACB here, but. Um, it's not a central angle as you can see. Huh? It's it, it's a, it's on the circle. The angle is on the circle. Whereas ACB subtends, um, the, if you will, huh? so the other portion of the arc. So if I put put, put the point here K, so therefore it subtends AKB. The arc. But those two arc they add up to 360. So they add up to 360. And because those angles are on the circle, not central angles, those two angles should add up to 180 degrees. But if that's true, then it means that the sine of those two angles are simply equal to each other. So that's a very important property that I know as well. Uh, also, what I know is uh, C, let's call it C, um, angle uh, ACD. Uh, so that's purely analogous to what we did in part B. Angle ACD plus angle ABC, they also add up to 180 degrees. As I said, this is totally analogous to what we did in part B. ACD will subtend this whole arc, uh, huge arc, major arc AC. And then ABC will subtend the minor arc AC. They add up to 360, but then because these... Um, angles are um, on the circle, they should add up to 180 only. From that, we can conclude that the sine of angle ACD um, is equal to the sine of angle ABC. Finally, the last given in the problem is that because uh, B and C are tangency points, so let me write it down here. So that's the last given in the problem. We know that BD is equal to BC here. So I know that BD is equal to uh, CD by tangency. By tangency. Okay, so we know four results here. So let me go ahead and highlight those results. I know that these two angles are simply equal. So basically this angle over here and this angle. I know that... Um, the sine of ABD is equal to sine of ACB. I know that sine of ACD is equal to sine of ABC. And finally, I uh, I found out that BD is also equal to BC. Those two line segments measure the same length. Now we can go ahead and prove that um, the, the problem, namely that M prime, we will show next that M prime is actually the midpoint of BC. All I will do is I will show that BM prime is equal to M prime C. If that's true, then it proves that this alternative construction works and, it, and um, because M prime now is the midpoint of BC and it is uh, AM prime is the median, and when you reflect it across the angle bisector, it will give us the AD that we need. So I just go ahead, go ahead and carry the results from the previous page. So, so far we established the, these four givens in the problem, and I reproduced the picture as well. So now I will go ahead and start with BM prime over um, M prime C. And I will show that this fraction, this ratio is actually equal to 1. So what I will do is I will uh, re uh, rewrite BM prime in a way such that I will employ the law of sines on triangle ABM prime. If I employ it on triangle ABM prime, uh, the law of sines, so therefore BM prime is equal to AM prime times the sine of angle BAM prime divided by the sine of angle ABC. 
and m prime c for m prime c i will go ahead and apply the law of sines on triangle ac m prime this time so therefore i would get a m prime again times um this fraction here so sine uh, c a m divide c a m prime i should say divided by sine uh, angle uh, acb and now in the next step what i will do is uh, i will this time apply law uh, apply these formulas here that we got from part b and c uh, so therefore the am primes from the previous calculation they simplify so what i do is i have sine so let me rewrite it carefully i have sine of angle b a m prime and I need to multiply it with sine of ACB, but sine of ACB is simply sine of ABD. So I will replace it with sine of angle ABD, and then divide it by sine of uh, uh, sine of uh, CAM. Huh? Um, well, in fact, so, so let me start with ABC. So sine of ABC, so ABC is here. So therefore, I will replace it with sine of angle ACD times and then this one is not changing so sine of angle c a m prime now finally what i will do is i will make use of this very first fact in a so therefore that would be equal to um the so angle b a m prime is equal to angle c a d so therefore b a m prime we can replace it with c a d here so therefore it will become sine angle c a d times sine of angle a b d divided by sine of angle a c d times sine of angle um an angle c a m prime is obviously equal to angle b a d as well eh? so b a d because those two angles are congruent so Finally, so therefore, this whole thing is equal to now. Um, um, what I will do is uh, I will um, apply the law of sines this time on triangle ACD. Huh? So for this fraction, I will apply law of sines on triangle. So let me write that down: law of sines on triangle ACD. And for this one, I will apply law of sines on triangle ABD. So from the first one, when I apply law of sines on triangle ACD, uh, the first one, the fraction will become CD over AD. And applying law of sines on this uh, ratio, I will get AD over BD. And AD is cancel out. The CD is equal to BD. Now, in the final step, I'm making use of this fact for uh, B. And so, since CD is equal to B, uh, BD, that whole thing, they will also cancel out, and that would be equal to 1. Implying that, uh, in fact, BM prime is equal to M prime C. I, that is, M prime is midpoint of BC. Sure enough, or you can say a m prime is the median if a m prime is the median and by construction we constructed it in such a way that we reflected a d across the angle bisector it implies that um that this construction uh, is true and that it sure enough provides the c median uh, in a in an alternative way so this is an alternative construction of the c median line so we are done that solves the problem and in the next problem, I will show an alternative proof to, uh, to this fact and hope to see you in our next video.